Hello everyone. So today I just wanted to quickly talk about overclocking utilities and how different they are. For example, I will start with the, the best one for any overclocker. So this one right here, Tricks from Setfire, unlocks uh, the most, most options. So not options, I mean you can go further with it. Like, look at this. You can increase your GPU clock uh, up to 1.6 gigahertz. And by the way, I'm using R9 to 80 for this demonstration. I will not be overclocking it just yet. I'm just putting it in so that you can see what these uh, overclocking utilities are. So, as you can see, 1600 megahertz here, whereas in OC Guru, you can go only as high as 1200, and same with MSI Afterburner, excuse me, only as far as 1200. But also in this, I do not like the UI in this. I mean, the layout is just, uh, it's just not very nice i don't like the look of it but it does have the save you can save the profiles you can um adjust your fans so everything you need is here and you can use it no problem if you want to find the absolute maximum push your car to the limits then this is the one for you tricks sapphire i will include all the download links in the description below this video for every one of these but obviously there are more than th just three because there's Asus Twig and there's uh, Precision X from EVGA. But I'm going to talk about these three in this video. So uh, my favorite one, I'll talk about it next, is MSI Afterburner. Basically it is my favorite because it's just compact in this skin. If you're using this skin, because you can change the skins in... Uh, User interface, I believe. Yes, so that's the skin that I'm using right here. That's my favorite one. So, yeah, because it's pretty much everything is quite small, so you can even when you're overclocking, you put you can put this in the corner, monitor all the uh, things that you need to monitor, and tweak as you go. So, this is my favorite one, and also it has the ability to use this nifty little option so everything you need everything you need is here and also if you install the combustor with it then you also have something to stress your GPU with at the same time so it's like everything is with it and also another th thing that comes with MSI Afterburner is this Revo Tuner statistics server which is basically providing you with uh, with the on-screen display of all the stats that you want to show in your monitoring so you can go into monitoring and set up anything you like uh, choose hold on on-screen display uh, it's already chosen right so for example this you can choose to show it on-screen display and it will show there so this is my favorite one, MSI Afterburner. And um, the last is uh, OC Guru. Mm, nothing, nothing special. I mean, it has profiles. It uh, does pretty much the same thing as MSI Afterburner. Um, monitoring is still here, but it's massive. This, this skin is massive. So that's what I don't like. And also, as you can see, um, Trix is the only one which has ov uh, overvolting enabled for this card. And as for the MSI, some, I just remembered, some people will say choose it in the settings. It is chosen on lock voltage. Uh, tried every one of these profiles. It does not work. It just doesn't unlock for uh, this by the way is actually gigabyte card installed so I'm very surprised that gigabyte OC Guru does not unlock the voltage for this card and the Zep Fires tricks utility actually does 
But yeah, uh, for the Gigabyte, for example, Titan X that I have, uh, I was only able to use the voltage tweak with the Gigabyte. I actually haven't uh, tried the tricks on it, but for example, MSI Afterburner did, didn't do uh, the core voltage tweak for the Titan X that I have, but the OC Guru did. But mind you, that is the Gigabyte Titan X I have. So there you go. Um, to sum this up, if you want a great utility for your day-to-day -day, um, overclocking and monitoring and whatnot, MSI Afterburner is the way to go. If you want to push your card all the way to your the limit, then Sapphire Tricks is the one you need. I hope this helps you with your choice and I'll leave all the necessary links below as all these programs are free and available to use to anyone with any cards you want. So it can be any card of any manufacturer. You can still try and use this utility. No one's gonna uh, say no to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped some of you. And um, I'll see you in the next one. RG out.